Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, the Juice Review Show, brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now, the range of what I showed today is another new one, yet another new one from Baker Whites, and it is their Tobacco 5 range. Now, the ones I'll be showing you today will be Banana, Peach, Cherry, Oh, if I get around the wrong way around, Rich tobacco and finally apple tobacco. Now I've got to say for the record any opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I'm not being paid to do this review so I've also not paid for this product. These have been sent to me from Danny Baker and Baker White Inks for review purposes only. Also to note individual setup and personal taste will affect what you get from the juice. Now my weapon of choice today will be the RX200 and that has got a l the um, Lush Dripper, and that is dual core to 0.2. All juices featured today are a 60-40 VG PG blend, and are at 3 milligrams. Normally I start off by going through bottle safety and warning labels. I won't do this for this, because the labels are, well, the warnings are exactly the same as what the systems were, and also what the business were. Um, good points I will say about it. Again, like the... Um, business it's black and white so they're very easy to read the only problem is also like the business uh, on the pocket abuse test the black does as you can just see a little bit there the black does kind of scratch off a little bit right um, other thing, comments I'd like to say about the bottle um, you may notice from a few other reviews I've done I'm not a fan of these full colour bottles um, yet yeah, they look absolutely gorgeous when you put them on your shelves got them lined up you go oh that looks lovely um, you can't tell how much is in the bottle I do have a problem with this and, and just for a little bit of peace of mind on the consumer end I do prefer a bottle I can see into just in case there is any impurities I'm not saying that there is and with the stuff I've had from Baker Whites before I don't ever think there will be but it does annoy me slightly as I say I can't see what's in the bottle even holding it up to light I'm not really seeing how much I've got left in the bottle it does annoy me just a tad uh, what should we start what we'll start with what I've got in my hand we're going to start off with the apple one also got a state for these reviews um, people who have stayed with the channel and have watched quite a few of my reviews may already know this I'm not a fan of tobacco um, if I pull any faces during this review, right, it's not necessarily the fact that the, what the, that the product is bad. If the product is bad and it hasn't matched the flavour profile that it's set out to be, I will tell you. But the thing is, I haven't touched tobacco properly now for near enough, well, no, over four years now. Any tobacco flavours for about four years, apart from during the reviews. It does trigger a little memory in me, which is bizarre after all this time. I would have thought that, that would have been a lot of distant memory. But you do get that hidden tobacco taste in your mouth if you've been off it for a while and you go oh yeah I used to, yeah and so if I do pull a face it's not necessarily because the juice is bad right it might just be because my brain has had a little flashback and gone oh remember when you used to mm. uh, yeah anyway let's start with the apple cool there's a distinct smell of tobacco in the actual thing and it's, it's not a low quality one to be fair um, with the apple smell as well it kind of smells like oh I don't know if anyone remembers when you used to walk into a tobacconist and they had all the loose pipe tobacco that you could buy by the ounce kind of that smell it's not entirely unpleasant e even though uh, in with the smell of tobacco because of the fruit that goes with it This could be an interesting review. And also the main reason why I'm doing all five in one. I don't really want to spread this one out. I just want to do it. Alright, we're going to start off at... Uh, we're going to start off at 68.6 .6 watts. Which is 3.7. About mid-range on a mech. Throat hit, 
to be fair, it's practically none, which for me suits perfectly. I know with some people who like their tobaccos, they would actually prefer probably more of a fruit hit. But the fruit hit is practically non existent. Flavour wise, has come as a bit of a surprise. I'll get to that in a minute. The cloud production is superb. Once again, bake anything I've got from Baker White's on the 6040 range, the cloud production kind of negates the fact it's a 6040. More comes out like a 70 30, 80 20 even in some cases. Um, Flavour wise, I don't actually mind it, which is very bizarre considering my kind of hatred towards tobacco flavours. It's a very um, apple cider going in. The fact that tobacco comes through on the exhale, but it doesn't obliterate the actual apple, the apple flavouring, the apple cider flavouring kind of blends in really well and kind of just makes it a, a smoky apple cider instead of a, you're having a cigarette that kind of tastes like apple cider. It's very nice. I've got to admit, I'm quite, it's made the mouth water as well and the nice smoky effect on it as well. It's not bad at all. I'm actually quite shocked. I'm going to go up a bit. I'm going to go up to four bumps. And so I've gone up to 80 watts, which is four volts. And a burp, excuse me. The cidery apple taste is just enhanced. It's actually not the bit more of the tobacco edge off it. That's just really nice. It's a bit weird with that tobacco edge on. It, it goes, but it goes well. Don't get me wrong. But for someone who's not a tobacco user anymore, it just has that little edge. You don't really get. It doesn't come across as tobacco. It just comes across like a cider that's been in a that's been like steeping in a cask in an oak cask for a while. That kind of Mm. That's really nice. The twang of that side really does stay right there, right down the centre of the, right at the bottom at the centre of the tongue. There's a line where you just go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you can see, flavour production is absolutely stonking for a 60 -40. You know, I'm going to go up to 4.2 on this. Because that last little... I'm going to go up to 88.2 watts is 4.2. Basically a full battery on a mech. Um, flavour. Superb. Clive, superb. And a total surprise for me, because as soon as I found out, as soon as I saw these with tobacco, my heart sunk to the pit of my stomach. It was like, oh, I'm not going to enjoy this review. No, that's really, really nice. Yeah, um, if you like your fruities with a kind of a tobacco edge to them, try that. That is really, really good. That really surprised me. Alright, <coughs> I'll try the peach next. I've got that one. I've still got that apple. Um, cool. That really surprised me. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked. Now, this one, to be fair, I'm not really getting much of a tobacco smell from it, but the peach is really strong. Right, we'll take this down again to 3.7. Right, we'll have to 68.5 watts for this one, 3.7 volts.
once again, no fruit here. Which, like I say, for, for some Tobacco fans, they might actually want the, the fruit hit for this, but um, not really a fruit hit. Oh, flavour again. It's an absolutely natural peach. Oh. Oh, mm. Tobacco on this one, I'm not really getting as much. I'm mainly getting... That's probably... Well, I'll, I'll explain further at the end of the video. Um... Oh, Abs mm. it's absolutely mouth-watering peach, but a smoky peach. On the inhale, as the inhale, you get the fruit, and that fruit is absolutely as close to a natural bite of fruit that you could actually have. Exhale, you're still getting the fruit, but you kind of get the smoky edge to it, which adds just a nice touch to it. It just it, it, it changes the flavour. As it goes on, the, f the tobacco more comes through, and that's where I'm pulling that face because I can taste that tobacco again. But the combination of the two is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to go up to four volts. So I've got up back up to 80 watts. Absolute room fogger. It's gliding across my, my front room floor at the moment like a dry ice machine. Flavour that oh the peach is still enhanced. It's another one that sits quite nicely on the front of the tongue. Cool. Still getting that tobacco as the last dying element of that and for me that's a bit but up to that point it's an oh I'm not going to go up to 4 till now because I think it's going to do exactly what the apple did and they were both really good. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to, I'm going to under, under power it. I'm going to go to 3.5 volts which is 61.1 watts just to see whether it just flips it around a bit. Ah. Right, got it. I've got this juice now. Ah, I got the juice now. God. Underpowering this, I mean, by underpowering, I mean going under 3.7 volts. Because you're going to experience, people on Mexico are going to experience this as their battery dies out. They're going to be getting a different flavour from this juice as their battery power goes down. High up, very, very fruity. Very fruity with a lovely smoky edge, kind of a tobacco twang on it. Lower down, completely dewdrift flipped. It's very tobacco. <coughs> Don't get me wrong, it's spot on tobacco as well. It's more of a pipe tobacco than a, a tailor made or a rolly backy. It's more of a pipe tobacco. And then you get, and, and, and it has, been, and with, with an infusion of the fruit. So this works both ways. If you're not so much of a tobacco fan, actually you can do this, but have it higher up. If you're a tobacco traditionalist or you used to be a fruity pipe smoker, which sounds wrong, but you know what I mean, have it low down or put in a higher ohmed coil because you do get, it's more fruit infused tobacco instead of tobacco infused. No, it's more tobacco infused no, I was right the first time. It's more... Oh, shut up, Darren. If you have it higher up... I'll try this again. If you have it higher up, it's more fruit-infused... It's more... Fruit-infused... No, tobacco-infused... To oh, fuck's sake. Sorry, I was going to shut up, my shut up. <laughs> If you go higher up, <laughs> it's more tobacco-infused fruit. And if you go lower down, it's more fruit-infused tobacco. <laughs> Fucking right! <laughs> but you know what I mean. Lower down, it's very tobacco with the fruity overtones and a few undertones but higher up it's fruit 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 and then more of a smoky element to that fruit 
fuck me. <laughs> that shouldn't have taken that long to explain that. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. No, that's just personal preference there. I'm not a tobacco fan. But um, lower down, definitely the tobacco comes through a heck of a lot stronger. But it's still good. It does exactly what it does exactly what it says on the bottle. Now I'm going to blow this out. And then I'm going to move on to banana. Which apparently is the law. Every time you say the word banana, you can't say it properly anymore. Thanks to the minions, it's got to be banana. Yeah, that's got a nice coating on there. Now this one I'll start off under power. And then work my way up. So we're going, to, we're going to keep it si we're going to keep it 61.1 watts or 3.5. It's definitely a, a banana infused tobacco, and I'm not a great fan of it, but it's been done well. Like Again, it is a bit weird because I will admit going back in the old days when I used to be younger and smoked horrible things I didn't really see a banana one I thought you had your cherries you had your, you had your, you had your apples and cherries which were always all a good combination but banana is nice but the only problem is it's been taken for me personally it's been taken with the tobacco <laughs> so I'm going to go higher up on that one but I'd like to say, even at low levels, there's still no throat hit. But, to be fair to it, uh, the cloud production is still good at low levels. There we go, we'll go, we'll go back up to 68.5, which is 3.7. difference that two, uh, 0 0.2 volts makes full on banana it's absolutely full on banana the trick here is the um, tobacco you, you, can't, you can't taste tobacco at this level low levels yeah it's, it's tobacco followed by with mixed in banana 3.7 and I'm sure it upwards it's full on banana and the tobacco kind of makes it taste more like a caramelised tomato. Uh, tomato. Fuck's sake. Banana. I don't know where that came from. Like a caramelised banana. Oh. I would like. Just to state for the record as well, it's probably one of the most naturalist tasting bananas I've ever had. You get a lot of them, they kind of taste like foam sweets, or they taste not quite full on banana, but this is absolutely full on banana. I'm going to go up, go up to four, which is 80 watts. Oh, ho, ho. oh that's good. I'll be fair. Uh, uh, I'm not going to keep saying it, but I'm not a tobacco fan, but that is gorgeous higher up. No, I wouldn't class it as a tobacco one higher up, but the banana in that is absolutely gobsmackingly good. And then you get that caramelised afterwards. And, oh, yes, yes. Fr fruity fans, just take that and have it higher up. If you're a backy fan, obviously go for the lower down, but higher up. Fruity fans, you're going to absolutely love that banana. Oh. Oh, we'll give this a blowout. I've got two more to go. I'm not looking forward to the last one. I'm leaving that last for a reason. But Right. We've got cherry. If I could open it. Yeah, there we are. Oh, this smells very tobacco-y. Actually, this is more like, like I said before, the old tobacco shops. 
who was a bitter cherry. I might not enjoy this one as much from just from the smell of that because that tobacco does smell quite strong. Here we go. Alright, there we go. We're on 61.1 watts, which is 3.5. Cherry's quite nice, but it is a straight up tobacconist cherry tobacco. It's not, it's not, it's not five, I have to admit. That's not because it hasn't been done well, it's just personal preferences, that is not a five. Yeah, that is pure pipe, cherry pipe tobacco. Like I said, it's been done well. But ever since I got my taste buds back and then realised what tobacco tastes like, yeah. Right, we'll go up to 68.3, which is now 3.7 volts. Cloud production, as you can see, has disappeared. Wrong view is great. Still no fruit hit. Though I am getting a little bit of a... <clears throat> and I think that's just basically a little bit psychosomatic with my brain telling my body you're doing tobacco. It's nice. It's a nice flavour, but... <laughs> That, that it is very to, yeah it is very pipe tobacco when it just brings back a little bit too many memories I might stop this one here I might not go up on the next one I can't deny it's not good but it's just something that's just personally not for me but if you are more of a traditionalist and you like your tobacco flavours and you like your fruit infused tobacco flavours definitely give that one a go cherry it, it's done well it's done well and I know there's still loads of people that do enjoy a good tobacco vape and especially for new stars but I mean to be fair it's quite it's not as easy to find a, a decent tobacco vape for when you're a new star you can have gold and silver and all that crap and something from decaying that you'd rather flush down the toilet but it is hard to get a good one that really does taste like what it should do and these do taste low down remarkable for a tobacco flavour it's probably one of the best I've tasted just something unfortunately that's not for me which leads me to the last one which I'm really not looking forward to personally it's the rich tobacco I am actually getting this all through <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm just putting it down to my body going you're doing tobacco what are you doing yeah no I don't like that A quick sip of beer just to wet the whistle. Yeah. Now this one, I will. Say, I'll just notice it straight away, which instantly gives me it's going to be rich in tobacco. If you can see, see that. You can see from that that is a clear. All the other fruit ones <coughs> are clear. Other thing I've got to stress, mind you, and it's a weird one now. Um, all these liquids are DAP free they've all been fully tested and they've all come back DAP free now why I say oh, this has come a bit of a weird one for me now is because it came out that um, cigarettes have 750 round about probably at least 750 times the amount of DAP in them than what we do and not one smoker has ever got popcorn lung so as an industry, is this something that we've still got to test for? It's just a question I'm throwing out there. I mean, it, do we have to really... Since smokers have been doing this for a lot longer than we've been doing this, and are now and are facing 750 times the amount of DAP that potentially we can have in a bottle of this, is it something that the vaping community has got to be worried about anymore? 
Just jump off right there. But anyway, like I said, they're clear. But as you can see from this one, the rich tobacco, it's got that tobacco colour that we're all familiar with with the juice. So this could be an interesting one. E.g., I don't think I'm going to like it straight off the bat. But if it's good, I will tell you. I'm not going to put so much on there because I can't see me doing many puffs of this. Right. I'll, I'll underscore it. For, I'll go to 3.5 for the first bit. So 61.4 watts. Throat hit does seem a bit weird for a tobacco one to have no throat hit, but also on three milligrams as well. But no throat hit. Cloud production, superb. Flavour wise, it tastes like a tailor made. It tastes exactly like a tailor made. This would be really good for people who have just started vaping, who still require that flavour in their life. Me personally, oh, but for new stars and anyone who, has, who, who generally likes the flavour of tobacco, it does taste like a tailor made. You even get that taste at the end, you know, when you've finished a bag and you breathe out again, and you've still kind of got that dying off smoke flavour. Yeah, uh, I'll probably go up about one on it. Uh, right, 68.6 watts, so 3.7 volts. Uh. Oh, the tobacco taste gets stronger. It's a very, it, it, I can't, I can't knock it because it's really well done, and I know there's people out there that enjoy it personally. It's like, oh, I like that. That's really good. If you are a tobacco fan or you when you just started vaping and you're looking for a decent one instead of some of the crap that's available on starter kits and stuff, sixty forty should go in it should go in most starter kits to be fair. So in that way I will actually give Baker White's credit. Because a lot of these companies now, um the most you can get a juice in is six milligrams. Um, they're all fruity flavours, they don't really cater for the tobacco market, so I'll give them credit for that. Give them, and there's something there that if you're just in the transitional period between coming off tobacco and going on to fruities, because they're really good. They've got me, them four uh, are good. Um, I'm not so much on the cherry, because it is more of a um, pipe tobacco cherry. You do get that backy taste. But you've got the options with the other three with the banana, the peach and the apple of going high and knocking down the tobacco so it comes across more of a smoky flavour instead of a tobacco flavour or just going in low and keeping the tobacco flavour with a hint of fruit with it. So you've got options with them which is really good. And if you're just a pure tobacco fan, have a go at that. That will You'll be pleasantly surprised by that. I have to admit, I am. I mean, I remember the early, no, it'd be four years ago, I remember the early days of some of the crap that passed its, tried to pass itself off as tobacco, and some of them were absolutely ghastly. Wet leaves. Wet leaves and old socks seem to spring to mind, and cornflakes. There was a, for some unknown reason, old tobacco flavours used to taste of cornflakes, and I never quite got what went wrong there, but it did. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, all at least we do now is say, um, Please remember, the date now is the 25th of March, and at the moment, Baker White Inks are having a massive, I mean an absolutely massive sale on at the moment. Um, a lot of their range, um, Odin, Counterculture, The Business, The System, and these, and the um, Tobacco Fives, have been slashed to $10 a bottle for the month of March only. On top of that, they're also running an offer where if you buy three, you get two free. So it's five for the price of three. What I'll do is I'll leave that link in the description. So if anyone wants to take advantage of that, please do it and bag yourself some. 
It's a great product. I've done a lot of reviews for for Danny Baker and Baker White Inks now. I've done the Odin. I've done the counterculture. I've done the system. I've done the business, and now finally I've done these. They were good juice. They were good clean juice, and they're quite happy to show anyone the certificates to prove that they've done all the testing on this juice, so you know exactly what you're getting in your juice. With this day and age, especially with the FDA, oh, the EU TPD bollocks, and all this lot, it's good to know. So all these we do now is on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the Department of Inhaled Vapors, to bid you all a very good day, and I will see you soon. Actually, I will see you very soon because I've now got to do another video. Um, a big thank you um, to the 1,800 people that are now following me on Twitter. You have now activated a very special revival of doing stupid shit so you don't have to. Craftly entitled the Weber Field Experience. The Weber Field Experience. Oh my God! It's the Weber Spoons Experience. I'll let you find that one out when it goes up. See you all later.